everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, an MDJD turned homeschooling mom of three kids ages seven, four, and two. As I found myself in the home more, I found a lot more time for organizing my stuff, especially with things I found from Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot and all over the place, baskets from the thrift store, Today I'm participating in a collab about that hosted by Davy K and I'll link her channel down below in the description box so be sure to check it out. There's lots of other moms participating in the Organized Spaces collaboration as well so make sure you check out the playlist. Today what I'll be organizing is basically this cabinet you see behind me which is my sewing cabinet and it has a whole bunch of fabric in it. When I first started sewing it was right after I suppose my son turned around one and I had a little lag time in between completing the bar and starting work at a law firm and I just thought I'll just learn how to sew and I loved it so much and I went to Joann's and random fabric stores and picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Um, my family's in textiles back home in India and so my mom would pick up a lot of textiles too when she would come and um, she'd bring me them and I have a whole bunch but it's not very well organized. So as you can see this behind me, some of them are folded quite neatly, but it's not the best use of space. And when I was looking on Pinterest for how people organize their fabric, one of the ideas I came across was using comic book backers for forms basically to roll your fabric around, kind of like the way you would see it at a fabric store where it's on bolts. So you have the maximum amount of fabric and the least amount of space. Another thing that I also picked up were these things, which I already had. There's some, Dollar Tree shoe bin, so there's four here, and they have lids with them also, as well as a couple galvanized tin containers, and I don't remember where I picked this up from. I wanna say Target Dollar Spot, it looks like a Target Dollar Spot thing to me. And I have a couple pails as well, just for some odds and ends, maybe some spools of ribbon or spools of thread. Um, most of that little stuff I keep in my sewing desk, but some of it does end up here, like the bigger rounds of ribbon and stuff. So here I go, I'm gonna do my best to get it done, and then I'll show you how it looks at the end. So this is what the form looks like. Basically, it's a heavy piece of cardstock that's about six and a half to seven inches across and maybe 11 or 12 inches tall. It should be just perfect for sliding in this way into my fairly narrow cabinet. I'll show you how I plan to organize this huge sack of fabric behind me. I'm gonna lay my fabric flat down on the table but fold it at least once, and then I'm gonna put my little roll, just like a bolt, and try to fold it evenly three times around. It'll actually make four pretty nicely. Then I'll just shake it out. If I hold it pretty steady at the top, it doesn't untangle. And then I'm just gonna fold it down. I'm not gonna be too precise about this, so a few little um, bumps is gonna be fine. But as you can see, it does fold down into a nice, neat little block. One of my favorite things about this cabinet behind me is that it smells just like India. <laughs> it was an import from an Indonesian store, and whenever I open it, I remember my grandma. stack so far and you can see how neat and tidy it is. So all the fabric is about the same size, same width. And I bet you I could probably smoosh it into that top row, but we'll see how far I get before I start organizing them. As you can see, that messy pile of fabric folds down super neatly inside the comic book forms to make this really orderly little stack of fabric. It's really easy to see from the spines exactly what fabric you're looking at. Nothing is sort of falling over and hiding something underneath it, which I find super, super helpful. So far, two steps.
other stack, so I'm going to put it in next to these and hopefully they'll fit just perfectly. So I finally finished. It took me about an hour, but I folded all the fabric I had, all the fabric that was scattered around the house and in bags around the bottom of this cabinet and just sort of sloshing around in there into the comic book covers. And um, they are all a uniform width now, which makes the columns look really pretty and organized. So this cabinet has space for exactly three columns. It just worked out that way. And all my fabric is neatly stacked and I can see immediately, like if I wanted to get, let's say, an animal fabric, I can look immediately without even opening the cabinet doors and just sort of pick out what I have. If I was to do any kind of quilting or anything like that, it also would be super easy for me to see what kinds of things would go together. Um, if I want to make this super pretty, I think I might organize it by color, but that's probably for another day. So up here I put all my fat quarters and little squares of fabric that were big enough to do things like dish towels and stuff like that, like dish towel size and below. And in this little bin, I put my scraps, like real scraps that aren't a uniform size or anything, like some ribbon scraps and, and odd um, edging scraps and triangle scraps, things that my daughter can practice sewing on are in there. So that's all easy to find. If you look in this bottom section over here, basically what I've done is I've taken my five shoe boxes from the Dollar Tree and I put my ribbon trim in one of them, my blanket bindings in another, uh, elastic cords and random um, things that you would thread through fabric here, zippers and stuff like that. Uh, I have another container for cording, like here's my like, you know, heavy cording that you might use on drapes or um, edging a skirt or something. And then I have a little open basket here just for thread. I wanted it to be easy access so that when I sew something, it's easy enough to look in there and grab the spool that I need. So right in here sits this old bolt of um, edging, like almost like fabric edging that I picked up at a estate sale. I just love the way it looks and I might never do anything with it, but I love that it's a giant bolt. Um, here's some yarn. And I didn't actually need my second bucket, but I think I'll leave it there for a little while. Here is some of the cross stitch projects that I never actually finished. And there's a legal pad snuck into the very back edge here because sometimes when I um, write down patterns or instructions for a sewing project from the internet, I just like to put it there and save it. And so it's all in one place. These drawers down here hold batting. So it's where I store all the things that aren't as pretty. So that is my cabinet organization. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have a lot of fabric scraps lying around, I really do recommend getting those comic book stabilizers and just folding your fabric into bolts. It makes it so easy to see it all. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out the playlist for all the other great Organized Spaces videos. As always, I wish you a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching.